Is Maxwell Chikambutso self-powered car real or scam? Hello, I am Dr. Cool. I will be shining light on this question to strike a balance for clarification. Skepticism, in its purest form, is the lifeblood of progress. It is the engine that propels us forward, urging us to question, to probe, and to seek out the truth in a world filled with uncertainties. It is the relentless questioning, the refusal to accept claims at face value, that drives us to seek evidence and refine our understanding of the world. This process of inquiry and validation is what has led to some of the most groundbreaking discoveries in human history. However, this powerful tool can easily transform into a weapon that stifles innovation, particularly when wielded without careful consideration, and a commitment to open-minded investigation. When skepticism turns into cynicism, it can create an environment where new ideas are dismissed before they are even given a chance to prove their worth. This content explores the delicate balance between healthy skepticism and detrimental doubt, focusing on the experiences of African innovators navigating a landscape often fraught with suspicion and disbelief. It delves into the stories of those who have faced the harsh glare of skepticism and yet persevered. The story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a Zimbabwean inventor who claimed to have developed a self-powered electric vehicle, exemplifies this complex interplay. His journey is a testament to the resilience required to push forward in the face of doubt and disbelief. His story, met with both excitement and skepticism, highlights the challenges faced by African innovators who dare to dream big. It shows the dual nature of skepticism, as both a hurdle and a catalyst for proving one's ideas. It underscores the need for a nuanced approach to skepticism, one that encourages rigorous scrutiny while remaining open to the possibility of groundbreaking discoveries. Only by maintaining this balance can we foster an environment where innovation thrives and skepticism serves its true purpose. Maxwell Chikumbuzo, an unassuming inventor from Zimbabwe, burst onto the scene with a bold claim. He had created a car that could power itself, drawing energy from radio waves. This revolutionary invention, if true, had the potential to upend the automotive industry and revolutionize transportation as we know it. However, Chikumbuzo's claims were met with a wave of skepticism, particularly from international communities and institutions. Despite the lack of widespread acceptance, I remain steadfast in my assertion, inviting scrutiny from scientists and engineers. I maintain that my invention operated on principles of electromagnetic energy harvesting, a concept that, while not entirely new, was considered by many to be outside the realm of possibility for a practical application like powering a vehicle. The skepticism directed at Chikumbuzo, while understandable given the extraordinary nature of his claims, had a double-edged effect. On the one hand, it highlighted the need for rigorous scientific testing and verification. Extraordinary claims, as the adage goes, require extraordinary evidence and the scientific community was right to demand robust proof of Chikumbuzo's claims. On the other hand, the dismissive attitude from some quarters, often bordering on disbelief and accusations of fraud, served to stifle further exploration and potentially groundbreaking innovation. This skepticism, sometimes tinged with unconscious bias against inventors from the developing world, underscored a systemic issue. The need for a more inclusive approach to scientific discovery that acknowledges the potential for innovation to emerge from unexpected places. Adding another layer of complexity to Chikumbuzo's story was the response within Africa itself. While his home country of Zimbabwe offered support and even allocated resources for further development of his inventions, other African nations, notably Nigeria, remained skeptical and even dismissive. This internal division, fueled by a lack of pan-African unity and a history of scientific colonialism, further hindered the progress of African innovation. The skepticism from Nigeria, a nation with its own burgeoning tech sector, revealed a troubling trend the tendency to prioritize external validation over nurturing homegrown talent. This lack of faith in African ingenuity, often rooted in historical power imbalances and a legacy of colonial exploitation, has far-reaching consequences, perpetuating a cycle of dependence and hindering the continent's ability to chart its own technological future. Section 5 A Beacon of Hope Zimbabwe's Support for Innovation Zimbabwe's response to Chikumbuzo, though met with mixed reactions internationally, offered a glimmer of hope. The international community watched closely, some with skepticism, others with cautious optimism, as Zimbabwe took a bold step. 
The government's willingness to support his endeavors, despite the controversy, demonstrated a commitment to fostering local innovation and challenging the status quo. This move was seen as a significant departure from the norm, where many governments often shy away from controversial figures. This support, while not necessarily an endorsement of the validity of Chikumbuzo's claims, represented a crucial step towards creating an environment where African innovators feel empowered to pursue their ideas without fear of ridicule or suppression. It was a message to the world that Zimbabwe was ready to take risks for the sake of progress. Zimbabwe's approach, while requiring careful navigation to avoid accusations of nationalism or blind faith, held valuable lessons for other African nations grappling with how to nurture their own innovative potential. It highlighted the importance of balancing support with critical evaluation. It underscored the need for a paradigm shift, from seeking validation from external sources to cultivating a culture of self-belief and investing in the talent that resides within the continent. This shift could pave the way for a new era of African innovation, driven by confidence and a sense of ownership. Section 6. Finding the Balance, Embracing Curiosity and Rigor The story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo serves as a potent reminder of the delicate balance we must strike between healthy skepticism and open-minded inquiry. While it is essential to subject extraordinary claims to rigorous scrutiny, we must do so with a spirit of curiosity rather than a presumption of falsehood. Dismissing potentially groundbreaking innovations outright, especially those originating from places grappling with historical disadvantages, risks perpetuating existing power structures, and stifling progress. It is through a combination of rigorous testing and a willingness to embrace the unknown that we create an environment where true innovation can flourish. Section 7. Cultivating a Culture of Innovation in Africa Africa stands at a crossroads. The continent is brimming with untapped potential, a wellspring of creativity and ingenuity waiting to be unleashed. However, realizing this potential requires a fundamental shift in mindset, both within Africa and globally. We must move beyond the narrative of skepticism and doubt that has often overshadowed African innovation. Instead, we must foster a culture that embraces curiosity, encourages risk-taking, and celebrates the audacity to dream big, even in the face of adversity. Section 8. The Global Imperative, Nurturing African Ingenuity The world has much to gain from nurturing African innovation. The challenges facing humanity in the 21st century, climate change, resource scarcity, global health crises, demand fresh perspectives and novel solutions. Africa, with its unique experiences and diverse perspectives, has the potential to be a hotbed of innovation, generating solutions not just for the continent but for the world. Investing in African innovation is not just a matter of charity or aid. It is a strategic imperative for a more sustainable and equitable future. By supporting African innovators, we unlock a wellspring of creativity and ingenuity that can help us address some of the most pressing challenges facing humanity. Section 9. Towards a Brighter Future, Embracing the Power of What If The story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo, regardless of the ultimate validity of his claims, serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of embracing the power of what if. His journey is a testament to the boundless potential that lies within the human spirit, especially when fueled by curiosity and a relentless drive to innovate. What if, within those claims, lay a kernel of truth, a spark of ingenuity that, with the right support and a spirit of open-minded investigation, could ignite a revolution? What if this spark could lead to groundbreaking advancements that could transform lives and communities across the globe? If it is hoax, while we'll attempt to silence the inventor, that reminds me how unhealthy skepticism turned assassins that killed Gaddafi in 2011 by US, same goes Saddam Hussein the list goes on. As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, let us embrace a spirit of curiosity, a willingness to challenge assumptions and a commitment to nurturing the seeds of innovation wherever they may take root. By fostering an environment where ideas can flourish, we pave the way for extraordinary breakthroughs. Fact-checking the claims. Is it real or a scam? Chikumbuzo's invention has received recognition from Zimbabwean authorities, with President Emerson Menangagwa personally endorsing and funding his work. Reports indicate that the vehicle has been demonstrated successfully, including a version built on a modified Cherry Tigo 4 Pro platform, 
the government's backing suggests credibility, as officials would unlikely. In doing so, we open ourselves up to a future brimming with possibilities, a future where the ingenuity of Africa illuminates the path towards a brighter tomorrow. This is a future where dreams are not just imagined but realized, and where the power of what if becomes the driving force behind a new era of innovation and progress. The house that divide itself will not stand, per Nigeria should hands off on hatred and envy in the disguise of skepticism, per Nigeria is making Nigerians look like dream killers which is unpan-African, Nigeria should lead by positive examples nor negative they should unite Africa, not divide. In summary, my remark on about the skepticism from all angles claiming the self-powered car is it's fake or scam, are all stemming from jealousy and hatred for Africa making such a disruptive technology unequal to anything ever witnessed by humanity. If we flip through the page of history, we will see how most African Americans inventors were stolen and silenced. Down to destroying the Black Wall Street, Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, the list goes on, all from hatred and envy. Layers of fact and puzzles of history replaying itself is glaring. Let those who wants to believe believe, and let those who don't get fed by their own poison, time shall tell. Tell me what you think in the comments section, if you want to dig out fact about the reality of the self-powered car feasibility.